guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel and you feel like you want to subscribe, you know what to do, just click on the subscribe button and you can see new content when I put it out. Uh, our next course review for this winter, we're down at Martin Golf, or Martin Meadows, Martin Meadows, Barton Meadows Golf Course in Martin, which is just between Alderley Edge and Coggleton. Now, I've been here a few times, uh, and it's it's an up it's up, up it's work in progress. It's up and coming. Um, new owners putting a lot of effort into the club and doing what they can, and it's it's, it's a busy little club. There's no uh, no restrictions. You don't need a handicap. You can hire clubs. Um, I mean, any, anybody can come and play really, which is good. Um, got good facilities for warming up. So behind me, you've got the, some driving nets. Um, you've got like a chipping area here. Uh, they're gonna have a, a golf simulator as well in, in one of the bays here. Uh, they're also putting in a golf simulator, which is actually in, which I'm going to be doing a review of in the next week or so. And hopefully, there'll be a nice prize at the end of that for you. But, uh, we'll just have to check on that. So we're going to do a review of the course, see how it's hanging up to the winter, uh, see if it's value for money, if you want to come down and play. So I'm going to do a few holes, we're going to see how boggy it is, how the greens are doing, and then um, we'll take it from there. So sit back, put your feet up, and don't go away. Hi right, guys, so we've just done hole number one. Um, Normally hole number one is off a normal tee, but with being winter you're off a mat. That's the only hole on the course that actually uses a normal tee all year round. Uh, first hole, a bit boggy in places, but that's only where trolleys have been, people have walked. Um, greens are in good condition, looking at them as well, which is good. Uh, obviously, this is Christmas, so and it's been raining, so the grass is probably a bit longer than normal. But besides that, I'm not, you won't worry about that. You know, it's not as if you're playing uh, St Andrews. Not a problem there. Remember, it's only eight. I think it's eight, eight par threes, and one par four here, which is good. It's ideal for your short game. Uh, a few testing holes. Hole number two here is uh, 93 yards, which I'll show you. going down the hill. So I'm going to see what we can do on the next couple of holes and uh, we'll see how we get on a bit further down the course and we'll come back to you. And for a for little club it is very busy. There's a four ball in front of me, two ball behind, and probably another four ball um, just starting out as well. So yeah, so bear with me, and I will pick you up up on the on the third hole. Don't go away. I guess <clears throat> hole number three. But this one right for you, my little favourite hole on the course. It's 136 yards. But quite a little daunting hole because you've got a little stream and some trees to go through. Um, and there's a bunker probably right in front of the pin today, which is a bit daunting. So I'll show you what it is. Let's turn this round. So you've got a little stream there. Another good thing about this course is most of the holes 
have a little hut here which you can behind me, which you can come and sit in if it starts raining, which is good. Um, and if you want to advertise your business, you could do that as well. So um, yeah, again, uh, green, good condition. Um, bunkers probably could do with a bit more sand in them, but that's um, parcel on parcel. Uh, but they get out just down to the weather. But in theory, if you're good enough, you shouldn't go into bunkers. So we're going on to hole number three, and we'll pick up again then on hole number nine. We're only doing a few holes today. Uh, we'll give you quick, quick shots of the rest of the course shortly. Right guys, on to hole number 9, this is the only par 4 on the course, which is 260, 267, um, which takes you over the clubhouse, which is over the little river. Uh, obviously there is ongoing course upgrades being done as we speak, um, there is a track for the buggies, you have a couple of buggies here as well. Uh, so they can go around the outside of the course. So they are in progress being done. Um, while you're on the ninth, obviously with the rear par four, you want to practice your driving. They've got a. Where's it gone? Somewhere there. They've got a little driving net so you can practice your driving. Make sure you're happy with it. Um, obviously. Same with most other places, if you wanted to learn to play golf, we are, there's some pros here and they do do lessons which is good. Uh, <coughs> obviously the rest of the course, ground's okay, <clears throat> probably grass a bit long but again it's Christmas, you know I'm not going to worry about it. Um, and it is winter as well which is, I know I've seen worse and they're all on Every green is proper green. There's no temporary greens, which is another good feature. So we're on to hole number nine. We we'll get the big dog out, and then uh, we'll finish off. We'll take a few shots inside the clubhouse, and I'm going to give you some more thoughts on the club. So hole number nine. Don't go away. <laughs> 